Hello and welcome to Z. In this episode, we are looking the amazing life of Spider. Stay with us until the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. Spider. Spiders are arthropods that breathe air and have eight legs, chalicery with fangs that are typically capable of injecting venom, and spinnerets that produce silk. They make up the bulk of the spider kingdom and are ranked seventh overall among all orders of organisms when it comes to the number of species they include. Spiders can be found all over the world on every continent but Antarctica, and they have made a home for themselves in virtually every type of land ecosystem. Taxonomists have identified 50,356 different species of spiders belonging to 132 different families as of August 2022. However, ever since the year 1900, there has been a heated discussion among scientists regarding the best way to categorize families, with over 20 distinct classifications being put forward. In order for male spiders to avoid being consumed by the females, who are often much larger than the males, a number of intricate courtship rituals are used to identify themselves to potential mates. Because of their generally shorter lifespans, males of most species only make it through a few of matings. Cases for the eggs are woven out of silk by the females, and each case can hold hundreds of eggs. Females of many different species provide care for their young in various ways, such as transporting them around or sharing their meals with them. Only a small percentage of species are sociable and construct communal webs large enough to house ranging from a few to 50,000 members of their own species. Widow spiders, for example, engage in a form of social behavior known as precarious toleration. Other species engage in cooperative hunting and food sharing. Tarantulas and other mygalomorph spiders can live up to 25 years in captivity, which is far longer than the average lifespan of a spider, which is only about two years. Even though the venom of some spider species can be harmful to humans, researchers are currently looking into the possibility of using spider venom in medicine and as an alternative to polluting pesticides. Spider silk has a combination of lightness, strength, and elasticity that is superior to that of man-made materials. In order to determine whether or not mammals and plants can be utilized as silk factories, spider silk genes have been put into these organisms to test if they can produce silk. Because they are capable of such a diverse array of actions, spiders have become popular symbols in art and mythology. These spiders often represent various facets of patience, cruelty, and the ability to generate new ideas. Arachnophobia is the term used to describe an unreasonable fear of spiders. What do spiders eat? The majority of a spider's food consists of insects such as flies, mosquitoes, and moths, and occasionally even other spiders. Therefore, in spite of the fact that these predators with eight legs have the ability to cause terror in humans, it is to our advantage to have them around, since their presence can help prevent other bothersome insects from moving into our homes. Although insects make up the majority of their diet, it has been shown that larger species of spiders will also consume worms, snails, and even small vertebrates such as frogs, lizards, birds, and bats. Size Range The body length of spiders can range anywhere from 0.5 to roughly 90 millimeters, 0.02 to 3.5 inches. The largest spiders are the hairy mygalomorphs, which are more widely known as tarantulas. Tarantulas live in warm temperatures and can be found in the Americas in the greatest numbers. The goliath bird-eating spider, also known as Therophosa leblondi or T. blondi, is one of the largest mygalomorphs. It can be found in some regions of the Amazon rainforest. 
The Pinkfoot Goliath, also known as T. Apophysis, is found only in southern Venezuela. In the 1980s, new information about the world's smallest spiders began to emerge. These spiders are members of numerous families that are only found in tropical regions. Distribution Spiders can be discovered on every continent, except for Antarctica, although spider pieces have been documented there and in the Himalayas at altitudes as high as 5,000 meters, 16,400 feet. The tropics are home to a significantly greater number of species than the more temperate regions. One Eurasian species of spider lives in slow-moving fresh water, despite the fact that the vast majority of spider species reside on land. There are few species that can be found living on the coasts of fresh or salt water, as well as on the surface of the water itself. Small spiders and the juvenile of many bigger species produce lengthy strands of silk that may be caught by the wind and carried enormous distances, which allows the spiders to travel further. This behavior, which is known as ballooning, is seen in a lot of different families and helps speed up dispersion. Within the confines of the northern jet stream, this pattern of distribution can be observed for certain species all over the world. The heights at which ballooning spiders go through the air range anywhere from less than 10 feet, 3 meters, to more than 800 meters, 2,600 feet, 2,600 feet. Both the form and the function. External features. A spider's body, like the bodies of other arachnids, is composed of two distinct parts, the cephalothorax, sometimes called the prosoma, and the abdomen, a pistosoma. The legs are connected to the cephalothorax, which is the part of the animal that houses the brain and the stomach. A protective structure known as the carapace covers the top of the cephalothorax. Another structure known as the sternum covers the bottom of the cephalothorax. The sternum also contains an anterior projection known as the labium. The reproductive organs, the heart, the gastrointestinal tract, and the silk glands are all located in the abdomen. Spiders are distinguished from other arachnids, with the exception of the primordial suborder mesotheli, by the absence of external segmentation of the abdomen and by the presence of a narrow stalk, known as the pedicel, that connects the abdomen to the cephalothorax. The stomach, nerve cord, blood arteries, and sometimes even the respiratory tubules, tracheae, travel through the tiny pedicel, which permits the organism to move in the essential ways so that web creation may take place. The Amblypygii order of arachnids, which does not include spiders, includes the tailless whip scorpions. These scorpions have a pedicel but no spinnerets. In the same way as other arthropods do, spiders have an exoskeleton, exoskeleton. The endostinite is located within the cephalothorax, and it is to this structure that certain jaw and leg muscles are linked. Spiders are unique in that they have six separate pairs of limbs. The first pair, which are known as the chelicerae, make up what is known as the jaws. Each of the chelicerae is terminated with a fong that serves as the entrance to a poisoned land. In the tarantula-like spiders, the chelicerae travel forward and downward, whereas in the other spiders, they move laterally and together. The venom glands are occasionally contained within the chelicerae, which are also the passageway for the venom ducts. The pedipalps, the spider's second set of appendages, are changed in the males of all adult spider species so that they can carry sperm. Pedipalps are appendages that look like legs and serve as sensory organs in females and young males of the species. Pedipalps are utilized to manipulate food. The portion of the pedipalpal that is linked to the cephalothorax and known as the coxa is typically modified to form a structure known as the endite, which is utilized in the process of feeding. Internal Characteristics Nervous System and Senses In contrast to the neural systems of other arachnids, spiders only have one nervous system, which is located entirely in their cephalothorax. The masses of neural tissue, known as ganglia, combine with a ganglion that is located beneath the esophagus, behind the brain, and above the spinal cord. 
the structure of the brain, also known as the epipharyngeal ganglion, is thought to mirror, to some extent, the behaviors of the spider. For example, in spiders that construct webs and are sensitive to touch, the posterior portion of the brain is larger than in spiders who hunt with their eyes. Spiders have simple eyes, which can have up to eight of them, and these eyes are divided into two groups, the primary or direct eyes, also known as the anterior medians, and the secondary eyes, which are comprised of anterior laterals, posterior laterals, and posterior medians. In the primary eyes, structures known as rhabdoms, which are responsible for light reception, are oriented such that they face the lenses. In the secondary eyes, however, rhabdoms are oriented such that they face inward. The placement of the eyes as well as the anatomy of the secondary eyes are characteristics that are unique to each family. Other sense organs include long, fine hairs, called trichobothria, that are located on the legs and are sensitive to air currents as well as vibrations. Sense organs in the form of slits, either in the form of minute slits or multiple parallel slits, are either situated close to the joints of the legs or are dispersed throughout the body. The slit is closed on one side by a thin membrane that can be penetrated by a nerve, while on the other side it is closed by another membrane that can also be punctured. Other sense organs function as vibration receptors or hearing organs, and slit sense organs are responsive to pressures on the cuticle. Proprioceptors are internal sensors that send information to the brain about the movement and position of the body. Olfactory organs are specialized hollow hairs that can be found at the tips of pedipalps and legs. Olfactory organs are associated with the sense of smell. Pheromone detection is the primary function of the sense of smell. This is all for now. Thank you for being with us.